Hello, my name is Kevin Bullock. I'm the manager of respiratory care here at Boston Children's Hospital. I'm here to introduce to you the new Intelliox portable oxygen cylinders that the hospital is converted to. Air Gas, our supplier, has not changed, only the look of the cylinders with some added features. These features will improve patient safety while also improving efficiency of our tank use. Portable oxygen cylinders themselves are pretty straightforward. However, these new cylinders have different labeling to indicate how much gas remains in the tank. The change in labeling, coupled with the added safety features, have led to changes in our portable oxygen gas handling and storage policy that will be highlighted in this video. First, let's introduce you to the cylinders themselves. The cylinders are MR conditional, as indicated by the label at the top of the tank, and also have a grab and go handle similar to the current cylinders. The flow rate can be adjusted from half a liter per minute up to 25 liters per minute and can accommodate all oxygen delivery devices on the barbed nipple adapter. The Intelliox oxygen cylinders also contain a 50 PSI DISS connection for use during ventilator transport. The most notable difference in the new cylinders and the key driver to the conversion and policy changes is that the Intelliox system incorporates a digital display that indicates the volume of gas remaining in the tank. The display of actual volume remaining is the biggest change for us to get used to as we are no longer looking at pounds per square inch to assess how much gas remains in the tank. In addition to the actual volume remaining in liters, there is a pressure bar graph for quick assessment of gas remaining in the tank. Each bar represents 50 PSI. As an added safety feature, the digital display will calculate the tank duration in hours and minutes based on the remaining volume dialed in at the suggested liter flows. This takes 15 seconds initially and will be automatically updated every 30 seconds while in use. Here are the conversions from PSI to liters and its subsequent indication on the bar graph. 2000 PSI are equal to 600 liters or a full tank. 1500 PSI is equal to 450 liters or three quarters of a tank. 1000 PSI is equal to 300 liters or half a tank and 500 PSI is equal to 150 liters or one quarter of a tank. Another safety feature of the Intelliox system is the audible visual alerts when the tank reaches one quarter full or 15 minutes of gas remaining. When the tank reaches one quarter full, you will hear three beeps and the pressure graph will flash continuously. When there are 15 minutes left, you will hear four beeps repeated every 15 seconds and the digital display will continuously flash an hourglass and dashes or no time left until the tank is off or empty. When using the DISS connection for ventilators, please note that the calculations may vary significantly depending on patient effort and flow rates. The manufacturer recommends that we use the bar graph as our primary indicator of gas remaining during ventilator applications. Also, if at any point the digital display should give you an error code, the bar graph will still be accurate, but you should seek to immediately change the tank and tag it with a broken equipment tag so we may notify air gas of the problem. Now that we've introduced you to the Intelliox cylinders, let's discuss the changes to the portable oxygen gas handling and storage policy. You may recall the rollout of a tank management system from a few years back where we referred to full unused tanks and stored them in green storage cabinets. We referred to partially full tanks as in use on stretchers, wheelchairs, ventilators, and stored in yellow storage racks, and empty cylinders as less than 1,000 PSI and red storage racks. Changes in regulatory policy and the conversion to the Intelliox oxygen cylinders have enabled us to change some nomenclature, storage practices, and lower our threshold for what we consider an empty tank. Previously, full, unused tanks had to be stored separately from any tank that had been used or considered in use regardless of how much gas was left. Regulations have changed, allowing mixed storage of used and full tanks as long as there are separately stored full tanks for use in emergency situations, which you will find on all of our code cards. We now refer to in-use tanks as partially full, and they may be stored in the green storage cabinets. When taking a cylinder from our green storage cabinets, always be sure to assess that the volume remaining in the tank is adequate for your needs. This is especially important with the change to a lower threshold for an empty cylinder. The safety features and duration calculation of the Intelliox cylinders have allowed us to change the empty threshold from 1000 PSI or 300 liters half full tanks to 500 PSI or 150 liters quarter full tanks. This change will lead to less waste reduce turnover of tanks, 
and increased storage availability. Prior to using the oxygen cylinder on your patient with greater than 150 liters of gas remaining, you can dial in the desired liter flow and allow the tank to calculate duration. When using basic oxygen delivery equipment, a minimum of 30 minutes duration at the desired liter flow will allow you to transport to most areas in the hospital safely. The policy for ventilator transports will remain unchanged and staff should continue to take two full oxygen cylinders. Remember, oxygen cylinders should always be secured. Do not leave cylinders freestanding or lying on the floor. If you should have any questions regarding the IntelliOx oxygen cylinders or changes to the portable oxygen gas handling and storage policy, please contact me via email at kevin.bullock at children's.harvard.edu or via pager 3142. Thank you.